Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a device to Roborock. So this video is gonna be particularly useful for individuals who have just gotten a new Roborock vacuum. How do you actually go ahead and add it to the app? Now this video is gonna be short, sweet, and simple, guys. There's not gonna be a lot of steps involved. But what we're first gonna do is that we're gonna access the Roborock app, which is this app right over here. And then the next thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna click on the plus icon on the upper right hand corner. Now once you do this, you're gonna to need to scan the QR code with your camera that you see right over here. You can either do this or click on the add manually button in which if you click on that, it's gonna search for devices or select the model that you wanna add. So you are gonna to need to make sure that you have Bluetooth enabled when you actually use this. And once you do, you need to make sure that your vacuum is turned on. So right now it's searching for a nearby device, but once you find your Roborock device, you'll just simply click on it and follow the on-screen prompts. Now I prefer to use the QR code method just because most Roborock vacuums come with the QR code. And once you scan the QR code, again, just follow the on-screen prompts in order to actually connect it with your vacuum. Now, once your vacuum is connected, this is what it's gonna look like in which you're gonna have your device labeled here and then you're gonna click on enter. And then you have a variety of different ways to actually go ahead and vacuum your room. So as you can see, the battery is set to 100%. It's at have a 12 minute recharge time. And with that, you can see the different rooms that are in my house. So to get started with this, you simply just click on the middle play button and it'll actually start your vacuum and your vacuum will actually learn the map of your home. But that right there, guys, is the best and easiest way that I know of to actually go ahead and connect your Roborock to your Roborock app. If you guys know of a better or easier way to actually do this, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you guys all in the next video.